Well, I got a massive DJ Cool Breeze here once again. Today I'm going to show you how to use Serato Flip in Serato DJ to make um, clean versions of your song. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using Jay Z featuring Rick Ross. Fuck with me, you know, I got it. And um, you know, that song is laced with explicit like this. So, what I'm going to do is clean up this song so all the um, expletives is cut out first thing you want to do is find where all the expletives starts in your track so I've already done that pre-done so I to make the video a bit quicker so I put a cue point at all the um, expletives in the song so if I scroll down to scrub through the song you can see where those cue points are set so I've already um, identified eight spots that I want to um, edit and make clean. So, first thing I want to do now is actually um, measure the length of the expletive. So, what you want to do is set um, a loop on the expletive. So, I'm going to set a loop in right there. Then we'll drag it down. All right. Once you get that loop now, so I'll flip sensor. In the flip works is actually it plays the track backwards so if I play this portion of the track right here backwards what's gonna happen is I'm not gonna be able to see it so what I'm gonna do now is shift this loop that I just set I'm going to shift it down in front of the cue point so I'm gonna do use um loop shift and shift it down probably a half beat so right there so if you see where it's, it's at right now it's right there and there so when I reverse you will um it will play this portion in reverse and drop right back into the beat so the other thing that you want to do is actually go to setup and turn your track speed your start time put it to the extreme slowest point then what you want to do now is put your track back at the, the first cue point and then you want to remove the loop but when you remove the loop you notice it will leave that impression right there it's like a marker so when you do that now what you want to do is turn flip on then you press the flip record button then you want to arm the flip and to use sensor on the flip you use on your keyboard you use the letter U so you press the letter U and hold it hold it and then you press play what will happen now the song because it's in slow start it will play slowly and take you right back to the end of the impression where the song stops and you stop it right there and you can now release U and you notice it, the song will actually jump back to where it would actually be and you pretty much shift this loop to the rest of the um cue points so you need to turn loop back on then you shift it down you shift that loop all the way down to the to the other um cue points so i will shift this one all the way in front of right there and then i will take this off and then i'll do the same thing again so i put it right there at the start and I go ahead, I hold down the letter U for the uh, flip sensor. Then I will play the sound. And because it's in slow startup, it will play slowly. Once it's at the end of the marker now, I release the letter U and stop it. And you do this for all the um, sensor part of the sound. So in the interest of time, I already um, made this creation, so I'm going to go ahead and play it and let you hear what it sounds like. So that is how you um, use the flip 
sensor to make clean versions of your songs and um, you know it's pretty much not having duplicates of the same track a clean version and the um, explicit version on your hard drive which is pretty much taking up space